Hey there, this is Cole here with more Hex Crank Live. Starting up a new game. This will be a one shot, a one off, whatever you want to call it. This is uninvited for the NES. I wanted to play something, something comfortable, something I've played several times before. And uh, Uninvited is a very good game that I would like to share with you, especially if you have not uh, endeavored to play it yourself. So let's get rolling. Oh, weird. <laughs> yeah, that's that's goofy. Okay. Something very strange about this emulator being mostly off screen that messes it up. Um, so yeah, waking up nearly dead in a car. Look out! The last thing you remember before blacking out was a shadowy figure appearing in the road in front of you. You heard your sister cry out as you swerve the car into this tree. You realize that you are alone. Your sister must have gone for help. The smell of gasoline fills the air. You must have punctured the tank. You pry yourself free of the steering wheel. Intent on... <laughs> Never noticed that line. Is it embedded in your chest? Intent on finding your sister. Okay. Um, so you have a time limit here, which means that it is best definitely to move. So let's go to that exit. <laughs> you can't go through the door until you open it. Thanks. Open door. At least it will save you the cost of a tow. <laughs> you find yourself standing in front of an old mansion. It gives you the creeps. Let me know if my audio is fine. I'm always a little bit worried when I do 8-bit games. Um, hey there, MASW. Hi, Robot. Picklefax. Scoop John B. That is a great name. Kev. Let's check out this spooky mansion, why don't we? Um, should probably examine the mailbox, see what's inside. Let's take this bad boy. go up one level in the inventory. There we go. Let's open up this envelope and get some exposition. Me. And also the key into the mansion. Uh, examine letter. So it reads, Dear Master, please forgive me. My health prevents me from aiding you in your battle against the evil Draken. You teach your students well. They become too powerful for their own good. Enclosed is an amulet that should look familiar. Wear this charm and think of me. The undead will surely fear it. Still, the evil, my friend, set it free for the sake of the family. Fare thee well. Okay, that pendant is going to be important. Let's, uh, let's open this front door. Uh, maybe it is... Maybe if I check the pendant.
Oh, I think I need to take... There we go. You take the pendant. Because it's still in the envelope. There we are. Inward. This foyer is a large and luxurious room. Still, it seems strangely oppressive. Let's examine around. of a great snake. Here's a bird. A great evil diving with extended talons. You feel something hard sewn into it. But I don't have a knife to open it up, so... Let's check in here. This room was designed for deep thought and research. So this will introduce um, one of the things that is unique about this game. I mean, unique is a little bit of a strong word. Um, in the Mac Venture games, uh, you you know you pick up items, you use them, etc. Um, and this one, you get spells. So that thing on the table there is a spell book. Let's examine it. Open it instead. Use the magic book? What would you like to use this on? Self. Regardless, about magic in general. Magic is not good nor bad. If it is used properly, good may result from it. If it is not used properly, terrible things can happen, such as, such as what happened with the Draken. What follows are a few magical spells. From nothing it shall form, and none shall see thee. Cloudisi. So it must be, uh, invisibility? Awake to a sleep, movement to still, six legs or more, bend to your will. Stellini. That is... <laughs> For controlling spiders, I think. If the path is barred with more than one, the storm to come to make them run. Thundidi. So... For getting rid of a Cerberus later. From here to there, when stone walls impair, telemates. So all of those have particular uses. They're really just keys. Keys for different situations. And the SW says this is more old school than uh, the WAF the WAF episodes had them imagining. Look up footage of the original Mac ones. They're in black and white, and they're in these strange windows. They're kind of a trip. Uh, so let's leave. Oh, whoops. Leave is not for that. So let's move out of here. 
I'm going to take this opportunity. All right, just use this. Let's open this door and then see what is further in. Much too quiet. Let's look around. The small painting of a young fellow. Well, let's go through the door that is already open. Oh, that's where I came through. So let's try... Uh-oh. Uh, this is fun. I'm going to... Hey, Scarlet O'Hara, what up? Thank you for coming back for me, my love. You will be mine forever. Her. Oh, weird. <laughs> so I guess you can go past her, but she stops you from... Ah! You have gotten the attention of the mysterious lady. She turns to face you, her face is devoid of any flesh. You are frozen with horror as she begins ripping you apart. She laughs hysterically as your body slumps to the ground. Your quest is over, end quotes. <laughs> as a great man once said. Alright, let's, uh... We've got more doors than we know what to do with up here. Is this a big mouth billy bass? Speak to Big Mouth Billy Bass. I don't have a ring to put on it, Scoop. Well, I'm in a door opening move. This must be the master bedroom. There is a stale smell about this room. It's an old wheelchair. Ooh, diary. We need this. Hey, Riff. Hi, Jala. And diary number two. Let's... Open this and see what it is. I've lost control of Draken, my star student who now fancies himself a master. Though his power is strong, his spirit is weak. He is easily corrupted by the dark spirits of greed and power. My servant, more aware than I, sealed his star in my hingeless box. They're locked away beyond his stare. I've hidden the key. A chair knows where. Hmm. That's a useful clue. Let's take this candle abra. Candle two, so there's gonna be a candle one. Bottle one. There's really no downside to having inventory chaff. There's only one thing that you don't want to pick up. Ordinary about this candle. There's green liquid inside the bottle. So let's examine around some more. This bed looks muddy, inviting the way you feel. You could climb into it and sleep for a week. 
narrowly not being exploded does that to you. Okay, let's make a note of that. Check out these paintings. Miss Vicky Porter. The eyes of the man in this photograph are dark and sunken. Riff raises a good point. A spider does poop out the words in the text box below. African Art Deco. That's actually pretty good. Used to be the skin of a zebra. Now it serves as a mat on the bathroom floor. The indignity. The indignity of it all. <laughs> Towel 3. <laughs> not hitting the right pixel uh no as far as i know robot you can't record actions the clean vial takes blue liquid that might be a setting in the uh in the emulator but most of the settings that i see in there have to do with uh like auto fire and stuff sink the slab of granite Ooh, my bathtub has my bathtub off gases radiation. Neat. You let out a startled scream at the sight of your own reflection. You can't remember ever looking so awful. Careful, you wouldn't want to be caught dead looking like this. <laughs> right, um. Okay, that dresser or armoire or whatever is closed up. feel very weak. Pressure begins to bear down on you. This must be Draken's room. I really like going around the house and reading the diaries and stuff and learning the story that way. So let's take the diary and learn what's up. My star is gone, but not lost. Master's servant will pay for his betrayal. The vehicle of my power has not yet served its purpose. Was that my car that exploded? When it sets me free, I will have a chance to realize my unlimited potential. The forces of the technological society will be unprepared for the likes of me. I will not be denied. My victory is inevitable. Waha, waha, waha. Candle. Different candles and stuff serve different purposes. Let's see here. It'll just be called unremarkable. Okay. 
bathroom is cold and return, return, dark. You notice that there is no toilet. <laughs> oh man, a terrible magical laboratory accident sealed this guy's butthole shut. Um... So might this towel. I'm gonna start a linens and things. Nobody's using the name anymore. What's in the hamper? Is this where he poops? Well, I might as well complete the set. <laughs> you also noticed that it's stained with blood. Ooh. It's like I'm at a Motel 6. Okay. Something bad will happen if I use these, I think. So now I should save. I guess it's not that one. Okay, let's leave here. We have examined Draken's property. Let's see what's over here. So here's a guest bedroom. Before there was solid t state to uh, technology, there were big radios. Let's see here. Did I remember to bring Bernard? Open here some tunes. Ah, man. That is the true horror to be deprived of tunage. Little support for your bad back? You're like a you're like a dude, like it's like a like a teenager. Come on, man. Uh no, I do not want to take that Ruby. That's not even that's not even an entertaining death. That's just a shitty thing to have happen. Uh if you take that Ruby, uh it puts a time limit on you, and you're gonna die once you get downstairs. Or thereabouts. Do this just a little bit later. Yay! Oh, so much item craft, I love it. It's a pesticide. Is this the spider cider? I love the spider cider. Okay. Watch your shit. Hey, Zicho. Ah, 
right, here's the spider cider. Knocks out arachnids and has been proven effective by leading entomologists. I will take this spider cider. Love that name. No ghost. Use when you want the dead guests to return to their world. So that'll be good for Scarlet or Horror down there. What's in these boxes? How snazzy is this hat? Like a freakishly small head? Okay. Let's move out of here. And go face the gargoyle. This will be an entertaining death, so, so let's do it. as a punishment for portraying the master. <laughs> a hideous skeleton forms inside the cell. In a deathly dry voice, it says, There is no escape from here. There is no escape. No escape. His voice fades out as the image fades. Hmm, do you think the game's trying to warn me? As you enter the cell, you hear the door slam shut behind you. There is no escape, you fool. I told you. Eventually you die and your spirit joins the others on the estate. Ha 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 ha. got the items that I need. Let's go get rid of Scarlet O'Horror. Listen to this song for just a second, though. It's a very fun. Okay. set my emulator. One moment. This is funny. Um, <laughs> I, I, I love this this dickery. Uh, so, hey, here's a ghost that I need to get rid of so she doesn't tear me apart. Let me use the no ghost star on her. What would you like to use it on? Well, how about her? Nothing comes out. You didn't open the bottle! <laughs> you have gotten the attention of the mysterious lady. She turns to face you. 
a skeleton lady. She begins ripping you apart and your body slumps to the ground. Maybe open the container next time. Dipshit, you moron. Goddamn Claude. <laughs> I love it. It's such a dick move. <laughs> This music so goddamn much, it's so good. Um. Oh, Riff says something kind of crazy. The original, with the like the Mac Venture one you can get on uh, Steam, doesn't tell you why the no ghost doesn't work. It doesn't say like, hey, you didn't open the bottle. You goddamn missed a belt loop, idiot. Uh, no, it just it just says like, hey, you're dead. <laughs> Robot says she takes the closed container and clubs you to death with it. All while you're screaming, no! Ghost! No! God. My chat's funny. You guys are funny. You know, imagine that this is the game room. They're playing ultra chess. There are too many rows. Too many rows and columns there. <laughs> The scientific name for this painting must be Uglius Maximus. Good burn. The man in the painting gives you a penetrating stare. He almost seems alive. of chess. You're on fire, robot. A terrific birthday bash in this room. All you need is a bowling alley. Any eagle flying off with a snake in its talons? with a good uh, tombstone. I think that, uh, I think the house is getting to you. Uh, before I do this, I'm gonna go and check this other hall. should probably save, because we're going to deal with a spider here. Save. Yes. <laughs> you have a splendid view of the desolate estate. I love that sentence. 
A large black spider quickly runs by you along the railing. Oh, look at a little friend. Okay. This is not exactly intuitive just yet. Where is my spider cider? The spider becomes paralyzed as it comes into contact with the spider cider, turning it into an object for me to take. Hi, spider. Welcome to my pocket. You'll learn to love it here. There are many towels. Before I go deeper into the house, I want to see something. I think I might be overcomplicating one of these puzzles. Uh, I guess I do need a knife. Which you can find in the kitchen, which is where I was about to go anyway. So. Close jar one. I love jar one. Small cookie jar. Let's open this cookie jar. Well, I want a cookie, goddammit. <laughs> jar two is completely destroyed, and that sure felt good. I should destroy more things. embarrassing water spots. Oh, I love the sensibility of this narrator. Um, no, I don't believe there's an inventory limit. Oh, this is gonna be good. Uh, I need that. The salt for a ritual, I believe. Or I could be making up a different game. Mm. Thank you. 
I have no recollection of where this door goes. <laughs> oh, it's the servants' quarters. The lack of dust tells you that this is a servants' room. Yeah, disgusting. I put that in my pockets. There's always something under the pillow. Come on. Trader cologne. Neat. So you can smell like someone who's around horses all the time. There we go. Suddenly a spirit covered in chains stands before you. This is my room. Who let you in here? Draken must have sent me. You cannot have it. You cannot have my precious. I have hidden it. No, you must leave. Leave me and my precious alone. Yes, all alone. Hmm. See so I can reason with him. So, I don't know how I know to do this. Just, it's just beaten into me. Uh, where are we at? He is afraid of spiders. <laughs> Flustered and frightened, the spirit dissolves from view. In death as in life. Hmm. What is his precious? Let's open this up and see. This diary reads, The master would not, or could not, so I have stolen Drekken's star. He is an evil soul. Unlike the master, he uses his power for amusement and profit. He is not concerned with spiritual enlightenment. There is no compassion. With his power, I grow weak. I am dying. I have hidden the star in the master's special box. It never opens. It has no locks. Draken's star never discerns. In fire, it freezes. In ice, it burns. Okay. So we need to find this special magic box. Yeah, the spider is so you can get that clue.
Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. The closet is unlocked, so let us uh, take all of this. Let's examine it first. Hey, Double Dexter. Seem to be generating heat inside of it. It's been shrink-wrapped. Okay, that's the box that has Draken Star in it. Uh, let's use... Oh, I think I said to take all this. So, take scroll two. Take scroll three. Take this bottle. Silver and Mercury. Together they form a key. Scroll 3. The scroll reads, The heart of the garden maze contains the Blothny gem. It is guarded by, quote, He who moves as the moon. to get the star. Hey, Soul Blazer. By which I mean Greg. Hi. Um, let's use the box. Nothing happens. So I just have to light the... Light the fire. Let's use matches. What are you going to set on fire? Take the star. It will be important later. The inscription reads Fire and Ice. <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> Can we frame the soundtrack and hang it in the Smithsonian? You think you see a somewhat cute, abstract creature with a key in its hand prance by. Let's see, because I think I need to uh, lure him out with some delicious, delicious salami. Oh, that reminds me to have some salami. Joe, I'm sorry that your hotel's internet is bad. I've never used any that was good.
Let's see. Greenhouse. There's the laboratory. And the church. You see something move in the trees behind the building. It says this has water in it. And suddenly bears fruit. So let's take this bad boy. Let's see what happens if I use it on myself. Sweetness and sourness mix in your mouth. Suddenly, your body begins to age. A year for every second. In moments, your body blows away in the wind. Awesome. Okay. Worth it? Go, uh, let's go use this on that, uh, that bad, that bad little demon boy.
Huh. Am I overcomplicating this? find something. by two menacing dogs. Dogs, you say to yourself, why did it have to be dogs? Fortunately, whenever there is more than one, you can use this spell to get rid of them. The first spell that we've used here this hour in. So let's use Fundidi. Liberace's stage show. As you fill the goblet, you see the altar move to the side. Wow, you found a secret passage. <laughs> There's a spider down there that's bigger than a bread box. I mean, as far as video game spiders go, that's not terrible. Um, I have a spell for that. Well, why would I use that when I have the ability to do this? Uh, save state. Save it. Yes. Really, that spider is bad news. Don't try to go down there. You really don't want to climb down there. It would rip you to shreds. Yay! Well, what do you know? It's a giant spider. It crushes your tiny body and its large, powerful jaws. Bravo. Your quest is over. Got a spell for that though. Yeah, this is a game that relies on you fucking up, getting information from that fuck up, and then figuring out how to not, <laughs> how to avoid the thing you didn't know was there in the first place. So, Stellini.
Oh, weird. a lot of, like, half-remembered solutions. So maybe I'm just supposed to do something later. A large domed building, the Magisterium. So I need a key to open that. How do I get to the maze? Must be something I'm missing. Let me, uh, let me look at the universal hint system. Apologies, I just don't want to be stuck here as I'm looking for the one pixel that I need. something bad, I think. I don't like it when games use the same key for multiple things. Take this insensitive doll.
All right, that's why you don't pick up everything. Hey there, chicken riggies. There's a spell that lets me talk with dolls. Doll, doll, wilt thou lead the lost? Memorize the magic words for doll, doll. Thank you for subscribing, Double Dexter. Um, let's go downstairs. Weird voice emerges from the doll's lips. Talk to my pious brother. He can help you find your sister. A word from him can open doors in high places. You memorize the magic words. Oh, sesame. So mention the pious, so that must be the statue out in the chapel. The door be opened for this poor strayed lamb, but he must not travel in darkness. As soon as the statue stops speaking, the door opens. Let's do a save state here. Just a classic ghost. Your usual kind of ghost. <laughs> Swoops down on you like a bird of prey. <laughs> Quickly begins to rip you apart. His shrieking face is the last thing you'll ever see. Cool. Um. Okay, what do I have that will cast some light?
Go in darkness. Is it a figurative darkness? Maybe I pour this goblet on myself. Nothing happens. Oh, it must be like a milkshake at Dairy Queen. Turn it upside down and nothing comes out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Jala is 100% correct. I missed the candles for the, uh... <laughs> yeah, I definitely forgot I had candles. Thank you, Jala. I was thinking, like, okay, do I, do I set the brush on fire? What do I... Offended by the flames and flies off to its supernatural home. Well, I'd never. This is the worst Ruby Tuesdays I've ever been to. Okay, um, I have a map of this, so you don't have to watch me go around and die all the time. <laughs> this, so... The Blothany gem is deep in this place. be very fun to make a map of this, but It actually makes me think that I missed something. <laughs> Luckily, your name hasn't been carved into it. Bouquet. 
That was like five pantries ago, so... those classic black and white zombies. Cages have been sealed within the far wall of the maze. the hawk. <laughs> I forgot about that snake. Oh look, it's Millhouse. <laughs> Be the Blothany Jewel. Ah, oh, look at that dither shading. Well, there you go. I love that. <laughs> um, and I have something specifically for this. doesn't seem very hard, you guys. Okay, I 
think I know what to do with this jewel. There's no key, however, there's a pentagonal hole, which you can use that gem in. have something to do with this. I just know it. Uh-oh. It hisses something about food. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this must be one of those situations where it's dark. It's dark in the room, but it doesn't look dark. Where are my matches? Use the matches on this. Create some kind of deadly smoke that'll choke me and I will die. First, the secret numbers, last the right button. Oh, 
What numbers should I use? seem to remember there was something earlier about gold, mercury, and silver. Good night, Jala. Gold, mercury, and silver. Let me check something here. Silver and Mercury. Let's see your periodic table. I remember it being something like that. So gold would be 79. Silver would be 47. And mercury is HD, so it'd be 80. HG, rather. This is the one that I have to use the axe on. Okay. Stand up. <laughs> I use my tax return to get a desk that <laughs> will rise and fall as I command it. I am as though a god. So I think that this is called Devil's Food Cake, which is a key of which is a clue of sorts. So let's use the cookie on the plate.
careless demon. for the hatch on the floor, which is nice. So let's use this. <laughs> Here we are. Misty tendrils form themselves into a robed human figure. He says, You've come. I've been waiting for you. Please listen to me. Long ago, I dueled with my disciple Draken in this place. I can find him here in the ice, but his power was too much for me. I am now forever locked in this dimension with only the ability to project my image into this cave. Sucks, bro. I ask a favor of you, my son. Send the sleeping draken into the in the ice, away in the in the, the dark world. With that, the old man disappears. Okay. So, remember the properties of that uh, the star that I got before. Yeah, let's use this to melt the ice. Eject him into the dark world. <laughs> into the hell. Go into the hell. <laughs> His moan gradually fades. By the dark world, he means, I guess, the core of the earth? Um, let's try and move into this. Yay! Your velocity increases as you tumble into the dark pit. The light at the top disappears as you continue your rapid descent. You continue to fall. I just wanted to do that. <laughs> Akonji says, consign my disciple to the cave toilet. Oh, so good.
Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the key. So she is above me. Water won't shut off. Some uncontrollable force is in control. Good thing I took that towel, otherwise it'd be ruined. <laughs> it's your big sis at last, you found her! She seems to be ignoring you. Come on, sis, you say. But she doesn't move. This little one is too weak for me. I need new blood and a stronger body. I need you. I will have you. You will join us now. I know just how to deal with you, friend. Look dehydrated. You say as you splash the water on the spirit, the hideous creature screams in pain at the very touch of the water. In an instant, the menacing apparition fades into nothingness, leaving no tangible evidence of his having been there. surprised that the air is so mild. In fact, a warm, pleasant breeze wafts past. A bright, warm sun begins to shine through the clouds. Then you see your sister. Sis! Sis, you're okay! You shout as you hug her. Of course I am, silly. Your sister replies. I just went into this house a couple of minutes ago. At least it seemed like a couple of minutes ago. Oh no, we're still in there, aren't we? 
Oh no, we've always been there. And that is uninvited. The end. Scoop John B asks if I made it out with the spider. No, I threw the spider at the ghost. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I had this one on my docket for a little bit. It's been a long time since I played it. Um, and this was a good night to do it. You know the usual stuff you can do on Twitch and on YouTube. I'll be back next weekend. Um, God willing and the creek don't rise. All of that. With, uh, with something new, something a little bit bigger. Otherwise, take care. Yeah, that's it. Take care. That's usually how you end things. That's how you end a conversation. So, um, bye. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend.